Welcome into Football Friday presented by Donato's on one of the most important weeks of the high school football season, Andre. Yeah, Adam, it's homecoming week for almost every team on the schedule, and that adds an extra level of intensity to a lot of conference games that really are already pretty competitive in the first place. Let's get things started with our game of the week, Springfield taking on Fairmont. Shout out to Gerard Hargrave and Ella Tharp. Oh, look at The them. Firebird homecoming king and queen <laughs> crowned before the game. And that Fairmont defense, they would make their presence felt early in this game. On second down, Tayshawn Smoot chased down and Malachi Bowling and Will Perry is tag teaming for the big sack. But on the very next play, third and long, Smoot looking over the middle and finding Dalian Bradley at the 30. And he's going to carry four Firebirds on his back at him to pick up that big first down. That drive though would end with a field goal, so on the next one, it would not. Third and long, Tayshawn Smooth, more like Tayshawn Smooth. He's good. He's getting shifty, He's breaking good. ankles, <laughs> fighting his way to the 14, and a few minutes later, Smooth looking to the end zone. Nothing's there. He tucks and runs. Move! Tayshawn Man. trucking his way into the end zone. He said hi. Shh. <laughs> That's his message for the Firebird faithful. All heads up 10 nothing. Then Adam right before the half, Smooth forced out of the pocket, roaming left. He lets that what? thing fly to Anthony what? Brown. Open and jogging into the end zone. A one play drive to put Springfield up 17 nothing. And that would also be the final score in this one. The Wildcats staying undefeated on the season with a big conference win over the Firebirds. All right, let's go. Miamisburg taking on Northmont here. Offense right here. But uh oh, gonna throw a pick here to Northmont. They get a nice return on it. Then Northmont is gonna go back to punt, but it's gonna go through the hands of the return man. Oh, that's, that's what a, happens. You take your eye oh, off of that split oh, second there. Northmont would then one. recover. Excellent field position there. Miamisburg's defense, though. They're okay. pretty tough. They would hold them to a field goal. There so we go. Three nothing Northmont. We're moving right along. Miamisburg driving now. They got an offense that can play. Justin oh, yeah. Barry is going to find Connor Smith. 35 yard play. Same drive now. Barry throws it up to who else? Oh, there he Jackson goes. Jackson McGowan. There One of the goes. best jump ball guys in the conference. Every week. Beats the defender. Hauls in the touchdown. Seven to three. Vikings. Northmont. Cocky Cortner. He's going to throw a beauty to Javion Brownlee. Touchdown there. Final though in this one, 22-16, Miamisburg takes it. Now another GWAC homecoming, Centerville taking on Springboro. We pick things up late in the second. Chase Harrison firing a dart to Nick Bruder, and he's gonna rumble down Ooh. to the 30-yard line and pick That's up the angry first run. down. And Adam on the very next play, Harrison, this time looking toward the sideline and finding Bryce Cowgill. That's another 14 yards and a first down for the Elks. Then on the next play, Harrison running the read option. He's going to pull that one and keep it himself, winning the foot race to the end zone and giving Centerville a 31 to seven lead with about a minute and a half left in the first. They're having a blast at Centerville, but <laughs> the Borough not going down without a fight. Sam Feldman running the QB draw and picking up 13 yards and the first. He was ruled down. That is not a fumble. A few plays later, Feldman once again showing off the legs getting around the outside and forced out of bounds. So we got about 20 seconds on the clock. Feldman forced out of the game. <laughs> so in comes Evan Ruzo, the backup quarterback. The lefty. And he's making a splash on the first play at him. Roman Ooh. Wright chucking it toward the end zone. And Nathan wow. Flynn, what a catch. The Hail Mary works to perfection. Just how they drew it up at him <laughs> and they practiced exactly. it at practice. <laughs> that cut the deficit to 31 to 13. The Elks though would still win 45 to 26 staying undefeated in GWAC play. Centerville making themselves known. All right, opening shot here. Beaver Creek hosting Wayne. Wayne's Tyler Dorsey is going to find his way right through some traffic. He's a tough runner. He's oh, going to yeah. make it 7-0. Wayne Ooh. has stiff arms. He's not going down. He's one of their bigger <laughs> running backs. Beaver Creek now is going to have to punt. Brian Kinley drops the ball right there but oh. you know what that's okay though because he picks it right back up stays focused uh oh and what's this <laughs> wow. he's gonna take it all the way in wow. 14 nothing wayne pulling away the deshaun jackson special right right <laughs> no guys i can't handle it tyrell <laughs> lewis he's gonna get chased toward the sideline but gets the ball down deep elijah brown wow. nobody on him can be taken down though just short of Ooh. the end zone so tyrell lewis just says you know what I'm going to finish the drive to Elijah Brown. 
who won't get denied this time. 21 nothing Wayne. Wayne rolls tonight. Wayne train. 41 to eight. Two, two. All right, let's take a look at some of the scores from the Miami Valley League tonight. Tip beating Xenia 30 to nothing last night. Then the Green Wave hanging 10 or 21 in this case on West Carrollton. Piqua all over Fairborn tonight, 77 to nothing. Wow, and staying in the MVO, Butler hosting the Chieftains of Hopewell Loudon. Our own Seth Cooper at this game, but he wasn't crazy about this. The Chieftains storming down the field on their first drive. Ashton Boer keeping it with QB power, picking up two yards. Hopewell up 7-0. Butler needing to answer back. Lucas Seibert looking deep, heaves it through the air, and somehow Cody Whoa. joins. Coming down with it with an amazing catch over the defender. Butler <laughs> gaining momentum. Now we're going to the second. Braden Bishop showing us what power football is mm. all about. Forcing his way into the end zone, and that's going to tie things up at seven apiece. The Chieftains looking to make something happen now before the half. Boar, he's going to sling it deep, but that ball is tipped. Wait for it. Whoa. Out of nowhere. <laughs> the diving interception by junior Caden Borkers to give the ball back to Butler. And then Courtney, Colton Buckner would nail a game-winning field goal with four seconds left on the clock. Butler wins on homecoming night 17-14. to 14. Hey, you might have missed last night's TNL game, and if you did, you missed a good one. Sydney, they were fired up. Troy, though, they were ready to defend their house and defend they did. Troy moving the ball early, number 23. Nick Kowecki going to cut it to the outside, but he's going to be brought down just before he could get it inside the 10 there. Trojans, they would settle for a field goal, 3-0. Next possession, Sydney. Oops, uh-oh. Snap goes over the quarterback's head. Trojans recover deep in Sydney territory. Then it's number nine. Will Wolke, am I saying his last name right? You are indeed. Excellent, excellent. Andre was in the booth last night, by the way. Did a great <laughs> job. Taking a few friends with him into the end zone. 10 0 Trojans. Yellow Jackets, though, this was an incredible play. Oh, EJ yeah. Davis is going to scramble to his left. Look, look, look. Off his back foot. That is not easy. Ooh. Finds the freshman, the Julius freshman. Spradling. How did he come down with that? Let's see oh it again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jeez. Man, well done, young man. Great throw, great catch. Sydney on the move. They would punch it in right here on the next play. 10-6 Troy. They were up at the half. Final score in this one, Troy wins 23-6. Now we're heading to downtown Dayton. CJ hosting Bishop Fenwick. They're up 7-0 at the half. Eagles looking to increase that lead. And Luke Chandler, one step drop, fires Ooh. over the middle to Keon Owens. He goes down and grabs that one first down Eagles. Now they couldn't get into the end zone, so here comes the young lady, Meliana Papalios, to nail the field nail goal it. to put the Eagles up 10 nothing. Eagles, though, back on offense. This time looking for more points. Chandler connecting with Aiden Lowry on the slant. Catching him. He's gone, Adam. <laughs> Off to the races for a touchdown. Now 17 nothing CJ after the extra point. Eagles with great field position. Once again, after a good punt return, Luke Chandler on the quarterback keeper, and look at him. He is not going to be denied. Man. Fighting through the entire Fenwick defense to get into the end zone. Another touchdown for the Eagles, 23-0. But on the extra point attempt, the snap fumbled uh -oh. by Jonathan uh -oh. Peltier. But Adam, he'll make up for it. Oh, no problem. Rolling right, finding Norman Jones for two more points. 25-0, CJ. This one all Eagles tonight, 32-0, the final over Fenwick. Now jumping right into Oakwood at Franklin. Got the camo unis out for this yeah. one. Wildcats leading 27-14. Uh-oh, going for it on fourth down, but a high snap. Oakwood able to pick it up, but gives Franklin the ball at midfield. So Wildcats trying to get cooking, extended the lead. The quarterback, Trestle Gibson, puts it right in Max Parker's kitchen. The Lumberjacks, Ooh. they get the ball right back. Oakwood students. They obviously okay. love it, and it's about to get better. Adam Palacco has trouble with the snap. Okay, he's gonna take it himself. He's gonna break a few tackles. <laughs> we don't need to handle snaps correctly tonight. Slips oh. into the end zone, <laughs> plays it off like a champ. Flag though did come in front. Sportsmanlike conduct Ooh. after that. I know refs are humans too. <laughs> Wildcats, they're gonna come back down on the two yard line. Pierce Bauer Lee responding with a rushing touchdown of his own gets the Wildcat lead back to double digits. Lumberjacks though. Coming out after the score, Blacko takes it himself yet again, but uh -oh. oh, that is a fumble. Wildcats would recover that effort. Ethan Atkins gets the turnover. Turnover chain, hey, there we go. <laughs> there <you go. laughs> 41 to 21, the Wildcats take this one. 
Now to Waynesville. Spartans taking on Bellbrook's Golden Eagles. Both teams Ooh. come up empty on the first drive, but Bellbrook, they're going to strike first in this one. Luke Benitez rolling left. That pass tipped by the defender, but he oh. picks it up off the turf. <laughs> Get out of here. What concentration to put Bellbrook up 7 0. Now, Bellbrook coming back the very next drive with a misdirection. Seth Barandi losing our cameraman and the Waynesville defense as well. Uh oh. And that's going to put them up 14 0. Golden Eagles up early. The Spartans now trying to come back before the end of the first half. Quarterback Blaze Sizer, great name. Yeah, that and is a, a football name. And a great spiral finding the freshman, Trenton Davis. They're down within the five yard line. And Adam, two plays later, Cleland Tammy with the fans cheering him on. He's going to get the ball, break a tackle, and fight his way into that end zone. Not necessarily great coordination on the celebration, eh, drops well, the football, know. but the fans don't care. They're yeah. waving the flag. <laughs> they, might not like the final score though. It was all Bellbrook, a dominant 42 to 17 win. And hey, before we go, let's shout out our student section of the week. We've got everything here from inflatable deer <laughs> to drums. We got construction outfits. We got a Man. whole lot of camo. The Springboro faithful traveling well to Centerville to cheer on their Panthers. Good for them. Their team didn't really win the game, but we hope being our student section of the week will suffice. Man, good for them. All right, play of the week. Check this one out. So quarterback here is going to sling the ball downfield, lefty QB. The ball is going to be tipped, but wow, get out of here. Amazing dive and interception. Caden Borchers with the pick. Man, I love high school football. I do. Look, I'm going to have a tough time trying to choose the top five plays this week from all of those because that was crazy. I'll tell you what, after 2020 slowed things down, 2021 is getting things accelerated. Oh, yeah. We're going to do this all over again at ABC at 11. We'll see you then.